Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the gradings administrator. So grading administrator configuration would be like, we need to do it. We will do it on the Unity as well as on the CUCM side. So we can do this configuration in two ways actually. So one is we can configure grading administrator thing without the routing rule. And another thing is we can configure this grading administrator with the routing rules. Like you will create either a direct or a forward routing rule. You will put a number and then and then you can do the configuration. That is grading administrator configuration with the routing rule. But here in this video, I am not going to use direct routing rule or a forward routing rule for the configuration of grading administrator. So I'll do it without the routing rules. So what you need to do uh, for this grading administrator configuration? First, you need to create a call handler that is a system call handler in Unity and provide an appropriate extension. So let's say in this example, uh, I am going to provide this 20,000 or maybe I can say 2000 or 20,000. Let's say 20,000 as an extension to the call handler right after that what i need to do i need to go to greetings under that call handler i will go to add it and go to the specific greetings and add it the standard one because i'm gonna do the configuration on the standard one okay on the standard one i'll do like what we need to do after the greeting is played so as soon as somebody calls on this call handler that is twenty thousand, one of the greeting would get played and then once the greeting is played, what it needs to do, right? On that way, I can do uh, the configuration after the greeting, what should be done. Okay, we will do that as well. I'll show it to you on the Unity side. Once I'll show you the lab. Then my next part would be go to CUCM and then there I'll create a CTI route point. Okay, so I'll create a CTI route point first and then I'll configure the DN and forward all my calls to the voice. So I'll first create one route point CTI route point and under the CTI route point I'll give I'll create one directory number and the directory number extension would be I'll give as 20,000. So that would be the same, right? So if somebody is making a call to this 20,000 and I'll put forward all calls to voicemail, then the all calls would get forward to voicemail. And under the voicemail, you can see I have created call handler in the Unity so that it will reach out to this 2000 directly from there, right? Another thing which we need to do, like the integration between your CUCM and Unity, because that is, a, I can say, a prerequisite for this without that your call will not come to unity you can do that integration with the help of sip or with the help of sscp anything like ports or trunk okay so for this example i have already uh, i have already configured the integration i have already done it the con uh, the integration is already there between the cucm and the unity that is with the help of ports i can even like maybe show it to you like my ports are showing registered so the call should go, should reach out to this 20,000 on the Unity. Okay. Another thing I need to create a CSS and partition as well, right? That is a mandatory thing for CSS and partition because this is the CSS and the partition which I will give on the voicemail profile as well as on the phone from which I am going to call. Okay. So let me go to the unity first and we'll start it okay so let me log in on my unity okay first thing what i need to do on unity is i need to create a system call handler so on the left side, I can see under the call management, you can see system call handler, right? Okay, here under the system call handler, let me click on add new and 
let me give a name as greetings underscore admin just the normal name or display name and let me add the extension as let's say 20,000 call handed template is coming already and let's click on save okay so here you can see greetings admin the display name greetings admin is created now with the extension 20,000 so this is my first step create a call handler in unity and provide an appropriate extension and I have already given this 20,000 now I need to go to greetings and edit the standard greeting like this one. I'll go to this edit and then I have this greeting option here. Now I'll choose this standard one here. Okay. Under the standard greeting, you can see my all this configuration, right? So as soon as somebody calls, if you want to like, if you want your callers to hear something, then you can just uh, put in this like system default greeting or maybe you can do like my personal recording or if you don't want to uh, if you don't want to configure anything you can just click on this nothing or maybe just a simple system default greeting okay then during greeting caller c and the main thing is that is after greeting so in this after greeting option you need to go to this conversation tab and choose the drop down as greetings administrator okay so under the conversation tab i have chosen this greetings administrator okay and then let me click on save okay now you can see now it is going to the greetings administrator now so this is my second step go to greetings and edit the standard greeting okay this greeting set this is actually going after the greeting like once the once the uh, recording is played this what what happens with that call that is this one conversation is greetings administrator this is already created by default on the cuc this greetings administrator option under this conversation tab I, i'll show it to you once i call it on the 20000 what prompts or what recording you will be able to here okay so let me okay i just saved it already so now my next step would be on the cucm okay so it says go to cucm create a cdr out point okay let me log in on my cucm this is my cucm okay so first thing what I'll do, I'll create one CSS and partition so that I can give the same CSS partitions to the phone from which I'm going to call and to the voicemail profile and pilot number as well. Let me go to this call routing class of control partition. Let me quickly create a new one and I'll just give the name as PT underscore voicemail. Save it and then i'll create a new calling search space add a new one and then i can just give the name css voicemail i can just give the name voicemail css here i'll choose the voicemail partition which i created and let's click on save okay so i have created voicemail and the uh, sorry css and the partition now now let me show you the voicemail ports which i created already it should show registered only then the call will forward to the voice I'll, I'll go to this advanced features voicemail cisco voicemail port and then let's click on find okay here you can see there are five ports which are created already now and they have a connection with the unity already registered with the UCM ipv4 address is coming up now let me go to the voicemail profile or the voicemail pilot first because I need to give the CSS and partition here as well. Under the voicemail pilot, there is one pilot number is already created. I can show you yeah, this one, double five double zero. And let me give the CSS voicemail here because that is what I'm gonna use on my phone as well as on the voicemail profile in the pilot. So now, on the voicemail pilot you can see under the 5500 i have given this calling search space css underscore vn okay now my next step would be what i need to do i need to give this css and partition on my phone through which i am gonna call 
okay so this is my phone this is my ci pc through which i am gonna make a call let me give the css let's say let's let's give it directly on this line number okay road partition i just created the one and test vm profile this is already there which i created and let me give the css as well and save it so in this way i am going to make a call from this 12345 number and i have this calling search space okay this is my phone it just resetted it okay so now the configuration related to the phone from which i'm going to make a call is done but the next configuration through which my call will go on the unity that is cti route point which i need to create okay i need to create cti route point for that you need to go to this device and click on this cti route point let's see if something is created okay no zero records found let me click on add new so here it says device name description device pool and all let me just give test ctirp that is ctir route point description with just same device pool let's just check it as default and let me save it so here you can see test ctirp is created now what i need to do i need to add a directory number let me click on this add a new directory number and here i am gonna add twenty thousand as a directory number why am i adding twenty thousand because i have added this twenty thousand as an extension on the greetings administrator then go to route partition I'll, I'll choose the same one which i created and here i can just say alerting name test okay then what I need to do, I need to give the CSS and the most important thing, voicemail profile. I'm gonna give test voicemail profile here, which I created earlier, which is which has a connection, like an integration between the CUCM and Unity. And the most important thing, what I need to do is this forward all. So on this forward all, I need to click on this voicemail and then I'll save it okay add successful now let me just quickly check it whether it's created here now you can see it is showing 20,000 in pt underscore vm which i created let's go back here you can see go to cucm i have created a ctr route point configure the dn and i have clicked on forward all calls to voicemail so now let me try to make a call through my cipc and let's see if that works I, I have created 20,000 as a directory number on the CTA route point. So let me just try to make a call. I hope you can hear. That bit is not available. Okay, so that means we are able to successfully reach out to the greeting administrator extension, which I have created on the Cisco Unity connection. So as here you can see under the remote port status monitor as well it is also showing the call and all other things like i did a call on the twenty thousand. that's why it is showing up here okay so this is how we can configure the quitting administrator without the routing rule i hope you really like this video so please hit like share and subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon so that you will be able to see all the notifications of my upcoming videos. Thank you.